Here we go. Welcome to Help Desk with Joe. This is show number 39, and you're watching us live here in our newest format, dealing with the 2020 issues that we have. We're bringing Help Desk to you live, and we have a guest with us today, Justin. And as always, we have Joe. So, Joe, welcome. Thanks. We're back for another week. We sure are, and it's changed. We were uh, quarantined for a little bit, and we did it remote at the studio, and then now we're we're back in again, but this time we're in three different locations. We have Justin with us in one location. You're in another location, and of course, I'm somewhere else. So now we're doing it completely remote, which is kind of crazy, but hey, adapting to the situation, right? At this point, it's 2020, so I don't expect anything less. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, it is what it is, but I'm just happy to, to make this show happen and to have you set all this up for us. It's amazing what technology can do, and it's amazing what a good technology guy can do. So a good IT guy in your corner is always a bonus. <laughs> can't hurt anything <laughs> yeah all right and we have with us justin today and justin's uh one of our project coordinators for patch and he's going to jump in with us and talk technology and justin welcome to the show thank you i've uh i think this might be my first one i don't think i've ever done a, a zoom all meeting right. i've had some facetime type stuff but first yeah. uh show like this yep. right right and you were on the show back when we were all in the studio live mm -hmm. Yep. or together, I guess, and you did a product review for us, which is really funny, yep. and uh, we all enjoyed uh, just your take on that. So, yeah, it is interesting to do a Zoom-type deal. So, anyway, show number 39, Joe, we're closing in on that magic number of 40, and uh, that that really makes me proud. I mean, we've kept this show going, and I say we, but really it's you. You've kept this show going. <laughs> I'll take a little bit of credit just by throwing my name in here, but uh, kept this show going up for eight or nine years now and in a new format. Uh, show 39 so encroaching the big 40 big 40 yeah How and consider yeah and it's been nothing but an uphill battle considering being able to keep a show going in the middle of a pandemic so i mean yeah I remember, you know <clears throat> if we go back and look at all the shows we've done this year i don't almost don't want to because it's been such an uphill battle you know back in january and february i was talking about the pandemic starting in china and then you know, you jokingly called me Prophet Joe that it's going to get bad and boom, here we are. <laughs> yeah, I remember just joking because you were like, oh, people are not going to be able to get new phones because it stopped production in China. And I asked you, how's this going to affect us? And you said, oh, give it about three weeks. And by golly, three weeks later, chaos hit and it just went from there. But uh, yeah, chaos hit and has never left. Yeah. Oh, but, and here we are in three separate locations doing uh doing our podcast series and our help desk with joe so all right well let's get this ball rolling and justin you just jump in anytime you have anything that okay. uh you want to throw out there and uh we'll do our three news updates and joe tell us about spotify you got some new news for spotify i'm a spotify user so i'm interested and uh justin do you use spotify at all or do you use something else um no i use the mostly apple music okay that's right you're an apple guy i forgot mm -hmm. about that I have used it before, though. They, I really like some of their playlists. Yeah. Spotify's I, got a nice playlist feature, I think. Yeah, I have my son set it up for me, and he puts songs on there. I'm like, hey, go find this song and add it to my deal, and he does. So it's really, I'm spoiled by it, but um, that's the only one I use. Okay, well, Joe, tell us about Spotify. What's new with Spotify today? Okay, well, in this case, Justin, I have good news for you. You're not affected, Dave. Bad news, you might be affected. Oh, gosh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Spotify has reset up to 350,000 passwords linked to third-party data links. I don't even know what that means. Justin, did you catch any of that? Am I the only one? Well, there's a leak of data, I think, is what was said. So maybe some passwords got uh, oh, released somebody, to uh, some, some nefarious characters out there. Somebody might have my Spotify password? Yep. Yes. What are they going to do with it? Well, here, here's what happened. So Spotify has reported that they're starting to reset passwords for up to 350,000 accounts that were breached as a result of a credential stuffing attack. A company called VPN Mentor, as found by ZDNet, says that it was discovered as a treasure trove of hacked account data available online. This information was used by uh, the bad guys to gain access to streaming the, the streaming music platform and generally just cause havoc okay i was gonna say i mean i don't know i would almost give my spotify password out because what are you gonna do go listen to my spotify well here here's the problem uh this attack called credential stuffing 
is the art of using data from one leak and using it to access otherwise secure accounts otherwise. So let's say, Dave, your Facebook account got hacked. Right. And, <clears throat> and that password leaked online. And you use that same password for your Spotify, for your bank account, for your eBay, for your Amazon. Well, now you just gave them keys to the kingdom. I got it. I see what you're saying now, because that's traditionally I used to do that. And my IT guy talked me out of it. <laughs> and this is the exact reason why. So yeah. And that second uh, verification deal, what do you call it? Two step two protocol? factor authentication. Yeah, yeah there you go. So my, that, my IT guy is all about that. Right. So that's why this is an issue. Spotify itself did not get hacked, but Spotify did find in their algorithms or whatever that some accounts were using the same password that was associated with a breached account somewhere else. So they're just going through on precautionary measures on their end saying, hey, we're resetting your password. So here's your new password. Nice. OK, I didn't I just I used my Spotify this morning. I went for a run and uh, I didn't notice anything. All right, so you might, so since you don't use the same password, you should be okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I didn't a, notice anything about my account. Okay. I have a question for the IT guy about that. Okay. <laughs> Something similar. I'll, uh, every once in a while, I'll get an email from some app that I used literally 10 years ago, and they say there's a suspicious login, and I kind of just ignore it. And I kind of, instead of going to the website and Messing with it, I'm kind of just hesitant and a little uh, apprehensive to even go and look into some app about uh, deleting that account or changing it. And, but because that most likely will be a password that I'm not using anymore at all, and it's just some old thing I forgot to cancel and get rid of. Right. Uh, first off, that's a good thing to not mess with that email because there there's a very good chance that it could be, you know, a bad guy trying to pose as that account. So if you are cautious on wanting to go ahead and cancel that account or close that account or change the password, actually go to that physical website itself yep. and go do go through that way instead of clicking the link in the email because it's hard to tell what you could be. You're basically opening a Pandora's box on that one to see what could happen. All right. Dave, you still there? Yeah. Okay. I was just thinking, man, now that I think about it, and I was trying to look at my Spotify here at the same time, I might have to go change my Spotify password. <laughs> <laughs> there was a long pause there. You looked well, like I, I was looking. I was, I was trying to find settings to see, and then I was like, man, I don't know. And, and then I was like, because I started my Spotify a long time ago. So now I'm thinking that I didn't necessarily – I don't know. I'm glad to go. I was trying to figure out what my password was. <laughs> I was oh, like, shoot. No, oh, I don't know. This is great catching Dave paranoid live on here. I, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, you know, because I said that. I was like, ah, oh, you know, my IT guy talked me into using different passwords. And then I got to thinking about it. And I was like, you know, I haven't put my password in Spotify for a long time. Right. I mean, maybe a year or two at least. Right. And and then so I was trying to look. I was trying to pull it up here on on my computer, but I don't know the password. So I couldn't log in. So I tried a couple of different ones and I was like, man, because I just use it on my phone. Right. But uh, yeah. So, so now, today, now I'm paranoid. You've got me paranoid. So now I got to go figure out my password and change it just in case. Yeah. So today's tip of the day, if you have the same reaction of Dave on this story, <laughs> change your password. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, no. I started not to say anything, but I heard you guys get quiet. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Justin's sitting there all cool, calm, collected, like, yeah, I'm on Apple Music, so this isn't a problem. This doesn't affect yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> well, I, on the other hand, suddenly realized I'm probably in the bad side of this Spotify deal. <laughs> oh, this, this is great. Never yeah. have I, Dave, I've known you a long time. This is the first time I've seen you uh, completely just speechless. <laughs> well, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, when the thoughts started hitting me, I was like, shoot. Yep, I haven't put my password in for a while, so it's probably like one of my originals that I did use for everything. Right. <laughs> and then I was looking at it, and I was like, man, what is it? And it had the little stars, so I can know how many – I was counting how many letters and trying to figure out right. what it might be. But, yeah, so, okay, anyway, I'm going to have to reset my Spotify stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping, though, and what I really was thinking is it's not that big a deal because, like, my 
my bank passwords, my Facebook, all that I've updated here recently. So they won't right. necessarily be the same as what they as what my Spotify was back when I used the same one across the board. Hopefully, um, I don't. I'm, I mean, I haven't done my Spotify one for two a year or two at least. So yeah, I kind of anyway. have just a generic password for stuff that I'm not concerned about, and then yeah, the the special passwords for your email and your bank accounts, stuff like that. Well, well, that's, that's I was going to say, Justin, do I really need to get on my soapbox and, and <laughs> preach a sermon to you? <laughs> and Justin, that's what happened to me. Joe said, listen, you've got to do better with your passwords yeah, yeah. and mix them up and get different ones for each account and start putting them, you know, like, so I started a, mm -hmm. a password list in my phone. And so I slowly went through and updated them all, except for some of the outliers like Spotify, some of that I just really didn't care about or think about. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, I'm going to have to go back and fix my Spotify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, Joe. I know. Keeping us in line. Yeah, Keep good us. thing I gotta get a good yeah. IT guy, because otherwise. Okay. All right. On the news story number two, now that I've had my Spotify panic attack and <laughs> uh realized that I'm not as savvy as I thought I was. Uh, you know, and that makes me think. Now I'm gonna go back through all my old apps and kind of look and see and uh and maybe update those as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm on it, Joe. Don't you worry, buddy. All right. Well, let's move on to news update number two. You got a little bit of Santa Claus to talk about because we are we haven't had Thanksgiving yet, but everybody's got their Christmas decorations up already. And uh, you got a little news with Santa Claus and Zoom. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I've seen literally every, you know, everybody complains about Walmart. As soon as they're taking the set up the Halloween costumes, they're setting up the Christmas stuff as well. Literally, I have watched Facebook people this year literally go, not even take the jack-o'-lantern off the front porch and they're sending a Christmas tree beside it, so. Yeah, that's 2020. Yeah. Let's just let's just hurry up, get to Christmas, New Year's, yeah. and bam, get into 2021 as Yeah, let's go ahead and do can. New Year's on, yeah, let's go and do New Year's on December 15th, so then maybe we can start off with a, <laughs> start off with a better year. We're just going to change the calendar. You know what? It's January 1. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> What could happen? You know, why not? Exactly. <laughs> we'll just add 15 days to January. It'll be great. Hey, if it turns out better than this year, by all means, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. Push the okay, button. So, and get now, going. so now I have kind of an issue with this story. Okay. So Santa Claus now has Wi-Fi at the North Pole. Here we are in rural West Virginia <laughs> and can't get internet to save our lives, but yet somehow... The big guy at the North Pole has internet. So what's the deal with this? Yeah, I don't ask. Let me ask my IT guy. <laughs> you know, why in the world do we have to be in three separate places? Because you and Justin were in the same office, but it wouldn't carry this load for some reason. But yet right. Santa can be at the North Pole, top of the world, and have better service than we have. All I can say is apparently somebody somewhere is trying to get off the naughty list. I was going to say, it's you're on the naughty list, aren't you? It's you or Justin. I'm pretty sure I'm good, but you or Justin are sketch now, so you're suspect. <laughs> well, Dave, you were you ran a speed test where you are, and I was pretty impressed with those speeds. I mean, I know. That's fast. why I'm on the good list. Yeah. You two. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> you two are on the naughty list minutes. for sure. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what you, you two, you better straighten up. You don't have much time left. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a pretty good August, so that, that, that should help. <laughs> I don't think one month's going to save you, Joe. <laughs> well, it sure can't hurt. <laughs> so when you have your Zoom call with Santa, how's that going to go down? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So uh, in the age of the coronavirus, and by this point, almost everybody is a semi-expert or if not fully expert on Zoom calls. Uh, coronavirus era kids can now... Uh, be able to zoom with Santa Claus. Is this something now? And you have a five-year-old, four-year-old, four-year-old. Um, is this something you're going to do? Have you already tried it out? Are you planning on trying it out? What, what's the look here? Uh, I might be. Able, I might look into it and see see what we can do. But uh, it's a UK-based project called Santa at Home, and it'll connect children with with the big guy himself for. On a Zoom session between now and December 24th, the calls will last up to 12 minutes and can accommodate six kids and an unlimited number of grown-ups joining from anywhere in the world. Wow. 
I wonder if they'll get pranked like the some of the Zoom calls in the past. <laughs> well, if they do, they're going to have to pay for it. It's going to cost them. So, okay, okay. So it's a paid deal. Yeah. So, uh, Doctor Anthony Fauci, you know the the White House mm-hmm. doctor, has clearly stated that Santa Claus ha- somehow had. Of course, it's Santa Claus, so it's no surprise he has the innate immunity from COVID nineteen. So he'll be heading down chimneys this year. Uh, as normal as planned but just to keep everybody else safe the big guy somehow talked to the people and got internet at the north pole and he is working with santa and holmes organizer with the entertainment company underbelly to give people the ability to to visit with him and not have to go out in the public you know that's interesting that you say that because yeah with covid and people being quarantined I wonder if kids actually thought that through yet, have had those thoughts of, hey, wait a minute, we're in quarantine, nobody can come in our house, how's Santa going to get here? Yeah. Right. I don't know. Justin, did you have that thought? Was that something you were worried about? No, it's just, just now hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, see a, I did see a picture yesterday of a person that took their kids to go see Santa, and they actually had a pretty good setup. They had Santa sitting in his seat and had the face shield on. And then they had a bench in front of them that the kids sat on so they could still, you know, get everybody's picture and still social distance. I was like, okay, that that's great, you know, considering being a You got to do what you got to do, yeah. That's kind of crazy. So, wow. Okay, so this is UK-based. Yes. I wonder if they'll get overrun with people from the U.S. Or do you think someone in the U.S. will pick up on this and try to initiate their own project? Are you going to be Santa Claus, Joe? Is this where we're going? No, buddy. I, I, we've already established I have been good enough to do that. <laughs> well, you got you got to make up some ground somewhere, and that might be a way you could do it. It could be a you know a Roan County visit yeah, with be, Santa and zoom in with Joe. Be uh, Santa's West Virginia liaison. There you go. You know, uh, you know who else might be good for that role? I'm looking at you, Justin. Uh, I was looking at you. <laughs> Everybody knows me. All the you know. So, no, you're a new face for us. <laughs> okay. And you're young. You can pull I mean, this off. I'm mean, going to need a fake beard. I can't grow a beard, so. <laughs> oh, don't you worry, pal. We'll get you a fake beard, the Santa suit, stuff yep. a pillow in there, because yep. you're pretty in shape, so you're going to have to <laughs> disguise that a little bit. But we, we'll take care. Denise will take care of you. All right. I'll, do, I'll, I'll send the email out now. Okay. <laughs> so, the session started $42 euro or $56 US. That's equivalent to $7 euro, or roughly $9 per kid. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say $56 for a 12-minute Zoom mm-hmm. session. Woo. So if you want an individual one, I assume it's 56 bucks, or you can have six people join you and you share the load? I'd say probably you just split the load that way. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. I, I didn't think there would be a cost associated with it. Well, they, well the big guy's got to pay for his Wi-Fi somehow. <laughs> <laughs> he had to run all that fiber optic up there. Exactly, and I and and I can't imagine that that kind of cost. I bet you Mrs. Claus is having a fit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, so Santa Claus, and uh, for anybody watching this in Roan County, we'll have Justin suited up here before you know it, and <laughs> start talking Zoom calls. Is that something we could realistically do? Absolutely. How would we keep it safe? We would send an, you know how I sent you and Justin the email advice for the meeting? We yeah. just do that. We just so they'd, send, have, they'd have to call us in and then get the link? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we could we could set up, like we could schedule meetings, say, okay, we're going to do things from noon to four o'clock on a Saturday or whatever, and then send everybody the link. They join the meeting, then we can get them in one at a time, because whenever you guys connect, it actually puts you guys in the waiting room. Yeah, then I saw I that. Actually, I, then I have to actually accept you, so then we can actually do that. And then once your session's done, we can actually uh, bounce, b- dismiss them from the call, and then go on to the next person. All right, Justin, you ready? Yep. yep. We have a Santa suit and beard and all that good jazz down in the storage room. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do Santa Claus for the daycares every year. We have a guy that's been coming in and doing it, but we have our own suit just in case. But yeah, yeah, I think we can make this happen. It's a great deal, Joe. I like where your head's at. Yeah, this. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be much of an issue to make 
to make it happen. Do we need to get a Teams account for Patch then to do that? Probably. Or just use yours? I'm not sure. Oh, well, well, we could use mine. I could be Santa's IT guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, let's work this out. I like it. I like where your head's at. This is a. Uh, so for people out there listening to the show and watching, hey, find yourself a good IT guy and you can make all kinds of stuff happen. Yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, really, in the, where we're at now, it's going to be really hard for people to go see Santa, um, you know, and, and make that happen. But a Zoom call, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, because I, I honestly never gave that much thought. Yeah, we can make we can make this happen like tomorrow. Wait. We'll start tomorrow. Uh, yeah, not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe next. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't take take maybe a day or two to test with and yeah okay all right next week let's get started yeah. next week we'll be in december next week and justin's ripper and ready to go so yeah, yeah I'll, eat, I'll eat extra turkey try to get the gut going a little bit <laughs> try to bulk up a little <laughs> yep. yeah. yeah extra turkey extra potatoes no cardio for two weeks <laughs> yeah oh gosh justin might not make that I, I, he's, a, <laughs> he's an in shape fit fella i don't i don't see him pulling that one off we'll just stuff a pillow in there it'll be okay <laughs> there you go all right <laughs> all right well good stuff yes, see that's that's the beauty of this show help desk with joe and joe you just helped a lot of kids that are going to be able to see santa you just helped justin he's just took on a new role for us yeah <laughs> can, we, can we get like an elf type of costume for joe or yeah i'll go on i'll go on amazon and get like the yep. spock ear elf ears whatever and yeah jingly, ears and a jingly hat yep. well now see yep. i don't need the jiggly shoes because since it's all virtual they won't oh, see my okay. feet all right yeah just the hat you need the hat with the bell that hangs yeah out. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're in. I like this plan. That's, a, you know, that's what Help Desk is all about. Helping people. You just helped a bunch of kids in uh, Roan County and wherever. I mean, I don't know. We, Justin's Justin's on it. All right. I like it. Yep. You didn't know that was going to happen today, did you, Justin? Nope. <laughs> I, I didn't like either. <laughs> the beauty is the technology and what you learn every day. Yeah. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're on this show, Justin. Me too. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> I mean, at least you got it up front, because otherwise we'd have just been scheming for you and told you later, like, hey, Justin, guess what? <laughs> You're going to be Santa. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joe, is there, like, the Teams thing, could people come in through a phone, too? It doesn't have to be a laptop? No, they yeah. As long, yeah as, long as, they, phone? as long as they download right. the Teams app, they're gold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, do it on your phone. That's awesome. Okay. Yep. All right, well, we'll work on that after the show, and uh, let's get moving into our third topic got another update on tiktok yeah i never imagined considering it was wasn't too far back that we was talking about tiktok and you and i was having this banter of uh wanting to keep it wanting to get get rid of it but here we are for the second week in a row having good news concerning tiktok yeah because mm -hmm. you the last story was uh and justin just to catch you up to speed yep. was parental corrupt controls being uh, utilized by TikTok for parents. Okay. And uh, so now something new or different? Adding on to that, Joe. Adding on to that, TikTok will now add epilepsy warnings to photosensitive videos. Really? Yes. That's good. I got it. So, so TikTok is adding a new feature that will help people who have epilepsy to avoid potentially dangerous photosensitive content. The platform already warns creators if their uploads contain effects that could trigger photosensitive epilepsy, but now everyone who encounters an example in their feed will get an alert that allows them to opt out of viewing such content in the future, and they'll also be able to go in the settings on the app under the accessibility settings and actually turn on the epilepsy warning. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know, and I've seen that on some things and like ride, not rides, but like carnival stuff or whatever. They have a little, you know, the flashing lights and all that good stuff. So that's pretty interesting to see. <laughs> that's good, though. I mean, I, that's good that TikTok's being that thoughtful. And I like it, it. The two stories back to back. One, parental controls that'll help, you know, ease your mind if you have a younger child or whatever watching it. And now, two, worrying about medical issues that, you know, can be very apparent. Yeah. And, it, and just something simple like this that, you know, simple setting that can prevent a lot of harm to yeah. someone. So, Ooh. so another hats off to TikTok, which I never thought I would say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that's that's interesting that that's uh, 
like you said, it's easy to do, but I'm sure they have to dedicate some people to screen or, I mean, I don't know how that works in the technology world, but somebody has got to sit down and say, okay, or, you know, insert some sort of code. It's going to pick that up so that they can label it. So that's right. extra manpower, extra work for them, but it's nice that they're doing that. <clears throat> right. And they're on TikTok. Do you know? Uh, the U S one or the main company? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I was just curious. Cause the main company was based out of China and then, that's right. We first talked about they were saying it needed to be an American company. Yeah, so then they was going to branch off and make a U.S. version of it. And I don't know who wound up with the U.S. operations because I know Java was talking about looking at it and Microsoft was looking at it. But I think Microsoft backed out. So I don't know who actually wound up with TikTok or at least yeah. with the U.S. operations side of it. Well, either way, it's nice that it's uh, they're that conscientious here in the yeah. last couple of stories. So good stuff. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's good stuff. Spotify, which, you know, shocked me. I got to go change my password now, Joe. <laughs> and uh, Santa Claus and Zoom, which worked out great for Justin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then, yeah. And now uh, a TikTok update is just going to make it safer. That's good stuff all the way around. So I like it. Three good news stories. And uh, Justin, do you have any thoughts on those? <laughs> Um, well, I, I missed the last week's story, so not to make you rehash it in oh, yeah. depth, but uh, so the like the parental con controls is that a algorithm type thing? It can recognize videos that are bad, or is it self reported by the people that use it? It's kind of both. The yeah. uh, parents can go in there and mark which content that they want to view and what what the kids can and can't view and then they can actually go as far as uh, blocking certain hashtags so you know when that the tide pod challenge was big so they could actually block like hashtag tide pod challenge mm -hmm. and not have to worry about that hashtag showing up in the, in their child's feed yeah because okay. even if they try to search for that it won't pull up any results yeah Yeah. yeah, I think we'd we'd all talked before about just, you know, so many millions and billions of videos out there. Just how do you get a grip on controlling what could be uh, yeah, some dangerous content out there? You, you don't want kids coming across. Right. And that's what's impressive to me, because now they're they're adding on to that with the epilepsy screening. So, I mean, I, and honestly, if they didn't do that, I, I don't know that people would. Uh, notice maybe or maybe care but that's really thoughtful mm -hmm. so, yeah right. with that it seems like you could uh write some code that would know that uh this video has a bunch of flashes and then you wouldn't even have to yeah necessarily i mean it have shouldn't to. be too hard but yeah. you know something's got to be done yeah <clears throat> so that's good okay well let's move on to the tip of the week and joe you always have really good tips of the week and we've had a lot of product reviews here lately um so i'm interested to see tip of the week and hopefully It'll affect me in a good way, like go change your Spotify password. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, it will benefit you in a good way. It's kind of a rehash of what we keep discussing, but it's one of those we have to discuss it to do our due diligence is Black Friday shopping, holiday shopping, whatever you want to call it, Cyber Monday next week. And actually, a lot of stores, I think Walmart's actually starting their Black Friday shopping tonight, Wednesday night. Uh, be How do you sure. start on Wednesday night when it's Black Friday? I mean, Friday's like the key word there. <laughs> Same reason they start at 6 o'clock on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny to me. Hey, let's have Friday sales on a Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> That's marketing. By golly. Only in America. So uh, this year, it's going to be worse with the online shopping scams going around and oh, here yeah. and uh, according to adobe analytics they're expecting online shopping to be up 39 percent from a year ago oh yeah it would have to be uh, only 39 percent mm. that's shocking to me well that that's that's just their estimation right now i'm just saying I, I would think with covid and all that i mean even like my mom is buying her groceries and stuff online Right. Just just to stay safe and to stay out of contact with anybody. She just orders them online. And that's, you know, for a, a 70 ish year old lady, that's crazy to think that, you know, she's shopping online. 
I, I, I got to think 39% is such a low number. It's crazy. Right. So first thing looking out for is beware of the, if it's too good to be true deals. Right now, <coughs> the new, the latest Xbox is out, the newest PlayStation's out, and everybody's trying to find them to get them for Christmas. So be aware of where you're shopping at. So if you find, you know, George's Video Game Emporium now has PlayStation 5s in stock, and you've never heard of George's Video Game Emporium, and they, they they claim they have them in stock, don't fall for it. Yeah. Because more than likely it's a scam. There, you know, there may be a small chance it's legit. As a small business owner myself, you know, I don't want to say, oh, it's all bad because, there, you know, there may be a way that they've actually been able to track some down. But don't fall for do do a little extra homework. Don't say, hey, they got I got to have it. There. there it is. Let's get it because you may be setting yourself up for trouble. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the golden rule, I think. But people forget because they get um, anxious, I guess, or just so hopeful that that is the deal that they right. just forget and get crazy, especially right. here in the holiday season. Man, I, I remember back in the day and I don't know, you two might be too young, but the whole uh, stampeding to go into stores where people would get trampled to get like a cabbage patch doll or something crazy. Oh yeah. Every year I always go on YouTube, like the night of black Friday and type in black Friday fights and you just see the chaos that ensues. Yeah. It's amazing to me. I just, I don't, I don't understand the mentality, uh, but people are crazy, but it kind of puts everything <laughs> in perspective because I think it was two years ago I was scrolling through YouTube and looking and, you know, you see the people fighting over TVs and, and bath towels and just nonsense. But there was an actually a video somebody had posted overseas where the store had opened up for Black Friday specials and the people were fighting over soap and toilet paper. Really? Yes. I was like, that puts everything in perspective. Here we're all complaining about not everybody could get, you know, two hundred dollar seventy inch television and these people are are fighting over basically essentials. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. So so then it kind of makes you step back and think, you know, maybe that two hundred dollar TV just isn't as important as yeah. what you, what we really want to think it is. Yeah, you better get out of the doorway at Black Friday, Joe. You'll get trampled with that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> now honestly i Joe would be there I, like wait wait a minute it's not that important get out of the way punk <laughs> now i granted, i always t i don't do a lot of black friday shopping but i always take it as like a competition to see what i can get if there's something i'm looking for you know i won't i won't go sit out in front of best buy for three days in a tent i just won't do that but there was one time when i was a kid uh mom and i went to walmart for black friday shopping to get digital cameras right when digital cameras started to come out and getting big and I remember I never pushed anybody, but everybody was shoving through the inner entrance door. I, I ran through the exit door and was actually able to bypass everybody. <laughs> Did anybody give you dirty looks or yell at you? Hey, you, you're cheating. Nope. The girls at the cash register just kind of looked at me like, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's about time somebody figured that out. Yes. Yeah, so, and, and I can, I'll never forget it. Literally, I almost made it back to the electronics department. And all of a sudden, you see this whole horde of people running through, almost like a stampede. <laughs> and it's like, oh, but I just, you know, burrowed through and got what I needed and literally just stood there and held on that thing with, with a death grip, trying to make sure I didn't get knocked out. Because I was probably 10, 11 years old at the time. And, and here come this one person with a buggy, had some great big bookshelf and just plowing through. It was like, you almost got your head taken off by a bookshelf. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, man. Consumerism at its finest. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't understand it. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I like technology. I like the stuff that we have and use and so forth. But yeah, I'm not I'm not the Black Friday shopper. What about you, Justin? Is there anything that you just do you cruise and look for Black Friday specials? And nah, I try to avoid it. Uh, maybe some Cyber Monday stuff if there's something I've been wanting to get for a while. And do you have what your about, eye on something for this uh, Cyber Monday? Uh, no, not really. Um, there's we one go through thing and I just, saw the other we, day where it's a, this is not technology really at all, but you could put an item inside this little thing and it would project an optical illusion above it and you try to touch it and it's not real. That's Ooh. like 10 bucks. 
but I guess that's technology, kind of. But you, yeah, like, that. that's kind of crazy to think. Yeah, a hologram machine for ten dollars. I think you're getting yeah. scammed there, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Justin advice. just fell for the tip of the week <laughs> <Yeah>. without even <laughs> within 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, you're getting scammed already. Well, Joe, I assume you do some uh, Cyber Monday shopping. Yeah, so. honestly, I always sit down like the night before Black Friday and see what's available. So I, I was start doing that the other night in preparations, but <laughs> I haven't fully gone through all the ads yet to see if there's anything good. And yet, and luckily, there I haven't found anything that's really got me excited but i do have an idea guys okay we all go buy toilet paper this weekend or this evening and we go sit outside of walmart tomorrow friday and as people are coming out with their big tvs and stuff like that and go i'll trade you this toilet paper for a tv <laughs> it's two ply <laughs> <laughs> two ply oh boy uh it's craziness so okay so joe what do you have on your cyber monday list then i mean justin's obviously going to get the hologram dealio yeah we can uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that product review yeah we need some product reviews so we gotta <laughs> pick up a couple of things we gotta stock up <laughs> honestly i haven't seen anything yet that's really excited me yet surprisingly yeah. huh is that cena you know putting a clamp on you saying hey joe you're not going to be excited by any of this stuff because you're not getting any of it no it, it's <laughs> I always like to wait until, because a lot like for Amazon, a lot of their Black Friday stuff they don't show until the day of. So I always like to go in there and see what gadgetry and stuff like that I can get on the cheap. So gotcha. That's funny. All okay. right, Justin, anything other than the hologram? No, nope, that's it. All right, are you the type of person like will you go through and just cruise and if something catches your eye, like Joe's saying? Or do you go in and say, well, I'm looking for something specific. I want to upgrade or, or whatever. Because I know you did yeah. a product review on that battery, uh, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you call it. Char yeah, portable charger thing. Portable yeah. charger, yeah. So I didn't know if that's something like, all right, it's about time to get one of these. So I'm going to go look. Yeah, it's always a very specific thing usually if I go on Amazon that I'm looking for. And then once you get in there, then maybe yeah, you might come across something else. But Do you get suckered in by the ads? Yeah, Ooh, a little bit. Look sometimes. at that. <laughs> That's, That's what like, happens to me. It's in the store, though. That's where I just find gizmos that I never would have thought of. For me, it's kind of hard to just surf on a website and get that same experience of finding something you didn't know you had to buy. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I do not do the whole I, – I struggle. Like, I, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I don't go look at any of it. I don't I, I get what I need, and then mm -hmm. if I see a suggestion, like usually like on Amazon below, they'll have something similar. I might shop around a little bit, but yep. otherwise I just call the IT guy and say, hey, look, I got this problem. It needs fixed. What do I need? So, so Dave, there's no uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals that you're on the hunt for? No. I'm a man of necessity. <laughs> That, that's about it. If I see, if I want something, I go get it. And then, you know, I don't do the shopping thing very much. Right. I'm like Justin though. I'll get suckered. If I'm walking through a store and I see something mm -hmm. like I, I went and got a webcam uh, a couple of weeks ago for doing this stuff. And, uh, and I saw a couple other things. I was like, Ooh, and then I got trapped into the records. They got vinyl <laughs> records there, vinyl albums. I yeah. walked by cause they keep them right there by the digital. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> got me. So while you're talking about spending money, the next tip is be careful on how you're spending your money as far as sending money to people. For example, uh, never pay with a prepaid gift card because you're because you're not guaranteeing getting anything in return. So if you order something with a prepaid gift card to a, a website, you may or may not get that back money back if you need to return it or whatever. And don't use apps unless you know the person personally. Don't use apps like Cash App or Venmo or to actually try to wire somebody money for these online transactions. Because with wire transfers, Cash Apps and Venmos, those are one way transfers. So as soon as they get it, if something goes sideways, you don't get your money back. Yeah. Cash App and Venmo is made for friends and family to send money to each other and is not to be used to send 
a stranger money because you they can take your money, never send you the product, and you're out. Yeah, there's no protection for you. Exactly. So the best bet is to use something like PayPal or a credit card. Don't use your debit card. Use an actual credit card because the credit card has more coverage and safety features built in. Use those as means to pay for your products online versus these other alternatives. And if the person, if you're trying to some, find something from an individual online and they keep pushing Cash App or Venmo, just say, if you can't do PayPal or credit card, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, don't be so desperate that you bypass those safety precautions and protect yourself. Right. And that's how I see that. I think it's just desperation. People are like, I have to have it. It's such a good deal. I have to, no matter what. And then they get tempted. And then those savvy scammers sweet talk them into it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Those are good tips of the week. I like it. So the next one is something I never thought of, but... They said due to the pandemic, uh, what they're calling puppy scams is on the rise where people are trying to get pets since they're staying home more often, get a pet to keep them company, that uh, the scams for pets is on the rise. They said recently a customer complained that she sent $6,000 via Cash App for two incredibly cute kittens that never showed up. See, now that's just. I have I have several issues with this deal. One, six thousand dollars for two kittens. Go to the animal shelter and help out a local animal shelter and a local kitten stuck there. Bingo. I, I just that's craziness. So that that's my soapbox for this show. Go to the animal shelter and get your animal if you need to have an animal. My goodness, there's animals there that need saved and need somebody to love them and pet them and call them George. I mean, come on. <laughs> So six thousand dollars to kids. Well, all, now here here's the kicker. Not only did they lose the six grand, but they lost the additional two hundred fifty dollar quote unquote shipping charge and that was included. Yeah. Wow. You know, if you're gonna pay six grand and two hundred fifty dollars to ship two cats, you almost need your money taken. <laughs> I know that's heartless and mean, but come on now, uh, people. <laughs> so. After those two, it's kind of the same old that we always harp. Watch out for the imposter websites, these websites that look like legitimate websites, you know. Make sure when you go to Best Buy, you go to bestbuy.com, not yeah. do a Google search and the website kind of looks like Best Buy. So watch out for those. Watch out for the phishing emails. It's very similar to what Justin was mentioning earlier about you get these emails from these places that say, hey, we need you to change your password. Click this link. Don't click the link. And then be sure to read the fine print on anything you buy. If you buy anything from a website that you normally don't shop on, read the fine print and see what the return policy is, if they have a return policy, and what other terms you're agreeing to as far before you make that purchase. Yeah. Yeah, that's all solid stuff. And I think uh, it's amazing to me that people overlook that. But, again, they just get excited, get desperate, make a bad decision. Right. Don't don't do it. If you're listening to this show, just don't do it. Play it safe. Keep right. your six grand. Exactly. <laughs> but now because... if you listen in our way, uh, let me give you my I'll I'll create a Cash App account and I'll see you six grand. Yes. Hey, I agree. We could go to the animal shelter and get all kinds of kittens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'll sell them a lot cheaper than six grand. And they'll have a you you'll give a kitten a good home that needs it. So uh, yeah. Instead of six grand, what, fifty nine ninety five? <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Shoot to save a cat out of the shelter? Heck yeah! Twenty bucks. You know, no, 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 rumblings about a lot of the hot toys this year it's just the game console yeah. the big one because one is christmas two the pandemic sure not helping anything because that's the one thing that's been hard to get all year long is people have been buying game consoles as just as quick as they can crank them out and then the big issue with the gaming consoles is with any new console there's issues with software and hardware that you're trying to get the bugs worked out so you know it may not hurt if you want if you can't get the new console just wait a month or two let the let them get all the bugs worked out and then if you able to by the time you track one down and get one you might be in the free and clear 
Now, so since Justin asked that, I went on my Amazon here while I'm just sitting. It's crazy how much it's pulling up stuff that is tailored for me from based off my past searches. Um, and not a whole lot of new stuff, so to speak, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I will say, Joe, if you're looking for that perfect Christmas present for me, yeah. I'm really, I, I want to get some of the Waze stuff going. So, you know. Some of the Wise stuff? Wise. Yeah, sorry, Wise. And I have... Definitely. Have they, uh, I'm going to check them out here while we're talking. Okay. Have they uh, updated their stuff in? I saw, yeah, they did release, they released another product last week. I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, but okay. I did see where they're possibly going to release a smartwatch soon. Well, they got on their website, they have Smarter, Simpler, Greener, and it's a wise controlled sprinkler. That's it. And then they got another one, Bites the Dust. They got the robot vacuum mm -hmm. for 200 bucks. That's not bad. No. you got to pre-order it. And let's see. Because I was wanting something. They got the Wise Cam V3, yeah. outdoor cam, pan cam, the light bulbs, scale. Nobody's going to want that through the holidays. <laughs> now is that some sort of smart scale or just yeah you can link it with your phone and it'll track your weight loss progress okay they got the uh the thermostat pre-order okay and then the doorbell is what i wanted yeah i was, I was getting ready to pull, pull the trigger on the doorbell till i saw where it said hardwired only and i don't have a hardwired doorbell so that killed that deal I have it and see it's pre-order still. I wonder that's that's what I don't like. Like I I, I want to be able to order it and get it. I don't want to pre-order. Well, yeah, that's why I've been sitting here anx anxiously waiting my thermostats to come in. It's like I want them now, but you know it's pre-order. So yeah, it's kind of mean. They're sitting there saying, "Look at all these great things." By the way, it doesn't. The, well, it says ships in January, so that's not too far away for the doorbell. No. Do you know when your thermostat's going to come in? Uh, next month sometime supposed to release in December. Okay. Hmm. Well, making progress then. Justin, is any of that stuff I know we've talked about a couple times on shows with you. Has any of that stuff yeah. been uh, interesting to you or where are you at with that? Mm -hmm. Is that what you want as well? Uh camera that you can pan around, that's kinda neat. It'd be fun to play with. Yeah. All right, there you go, Joe. As your Black Friday specials for me and Justin. You order them oh. up, we'll try them out. All right, perfect. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we shouldn't hold our breath, Justin. <laughs> How about this? I'll bring you guys. You get you guys get your choice. You either get the device or the power cord. How about that? <laughs> That's the Joe we know and love right there. <laughs> All right, boys. Here you go. One of you gets the power cord. One of you gets the device. Good luck. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that $10 hologram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, anything else you want though in this show, Joe? You've that covered a lot of stuff there. Spotify, Santa Claus, and Zoom, and that's worked out great for Justin. And then yep. now uh, TikTok up in their game again with more safety features and then some great holiday shopping tips of the week. So, whew, folks, when you're out there, just remember, don't do anything crazy. <laughs> Save your money. Yeah. Uh, that's the moral of the story. That's how I cap it. Yeah, so so the moral of uh, this story is, was save your money. And what was that other one you gave out and then follow up on last week's don't drink the battery acid? Yeah, don't drink the battery acid. My goodness. Your owner manual tells you so, you know. <laughs> but uh, if anybody needs to get a hold of you, Joe, how can they do that? If they have any questions about any of the stuff we talked about, we hear this show. If they need to get a hold of you, how can they? You give us a call at our office at 304-927-3588. Check out our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com. Or follow us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at AM Digital Tech for all that. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast Help Desk with Joe and Dave. We're on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts, but almost anywhere and everywhere you can find us. Nice. And Justin, how they get a hold of you? <laughs> uh, I I'm joking. Through Joe, yeah. Yeah, yeah call Joe. Joe. Tell Joe, uh, <laughs> pass messages through him. Yep. If somebody needs a Santa Claus, how do they get a hold of Justin? That's going to be the big question. <laughs> yeah. 
He seems very agreeable for it. All right. All right. Well, that's our show this week. This was Help Desk with Joe, show number 39. And we have with us Joe. And our guest in today is Justin again. And uh, happy to have Justin joining us again after a week off. And uh, we'll be back for big show number 40. You have anything special planned for show 40, Joe? Uh, we might be able to work out something. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like a giveaway of like wise items for me and Justin. That'd be special 40, right, Justin? Special appearance from Santa, maybe. Ooh. Ooh. That, changes, that, that ups the game big time. Yep. Yeah, it does. It does. I'm pretty sure he meant the special appearance that Joe's given us wise camera stuff yeah. for, from Santa. Uh, now, now you guys got to remember for that kind of stuff, we got to run it by <laughs> Cena. Oh, gosh. All right. Never mind. <laughs> We're not getting anything, Justin. I'm just telling you. Cena's the boss. That's how this goes. <laughs> you, don't, you don't play any shenanigans with Cena. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I've heard. Sounds like a <laughs> scary person. No, nah, she's not scary. She's just the boss. That's just how it works. She says it with a smile on her face. Yeah. Now, boys, that just didn't go happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, she is very detailed on, let, on checking the credit card uh, invoice and uh, the credit card bills that come in and say, okay, what's this charge for? What's this charge for? And there's literally times that I'll buy something and I'll go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you get sent to the penalty box joe just go to the corner yeah yeah here give me your credit you, card you know the routine and you're done yeah, yeah you just go to the corner we'll talk about it later you think about yeah. it <laughs> all right well help desk with joe show number 39 in the books and justin thank you for joining us this week and uh, we'll be back with show 40 so look for something special because uh, now that i put joe on the spot 40 has <laughs> got to be that special show um but anyway all right so that's our podcast for this week and our show and uh, happy to bring this to you and joe great great news updates and great tips of the week thank you very much thank you guys all right everybody have a great day and join us again next week <laughs>